Good clapping. <laughs> hey, I still got it. Welcome to another episode of the Cherry Picks with the Cherry staff, the Cherry crew, the friends of the Cherry world. Today, our guest is, most of you will know him, it's Tabby. Hey, how are we going, if guys? If you grade with us, you'll have messages from Dylan. Oh, it feels weird saying Dylan and yeah. Team Cherry. Yeah, um, that's I'll it. I'll roll with it. It's the most uh, professional thing about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dylan is joining us today. If you don't know uh, Dylan or Tabby, as some of you know him, please tell us about you. Well, my name is Dylan. I'm from the mean streets of Geelong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That'll get Blake going. Yep. Um, 24, 25 in a month. Shout out to my birthday. And I'm, yeah, a big collector of basketball cards. Um, yes. I grew up collecting AFL cards. Um, then I stepped away from that for a little while, came back into it, and then, yeah, found the love for the sport of NBA and in turn the collecting of NBA. Hell yeah. And then I haven't stepped back since. Yeah, That's still it. going hard. The um and so you and I pretty much, you started a little bit after I did, but we were both yeah. hanging around like a bad smell yeah, for a little bit. At the Dockland store. That's it. Wow. So if you are if you ever want to get a job at Cherry, just hang around. Honestly. Like, annoy Grayson. Yep. Annoy Dale. Josh, yeah. Josh. Definitely annoying Josh. I now, still I still do. <laughs> now you can just annoy us yeah. and we'll give you a bloody job. That's it. Um, There's always something to sort. That's yeah, my motto. That's it. Um and so then you kinda like came on to be breaking guy and then didn't become breaking guy and then dale just stole you away yeah so i was sorting breaks i was uh sending breaks that was a big job of mine and eventually uh i came full time and then realized that my skill was both like grading and listing cards because i know cards really well so i was able to i was able to type the tiles out real quick i was pretty good with pricing and yeah, before you knew it, I was just listing cards at a pretty good speed, and then that's how I got the job. That's it. And yeah. uh, the we'll, old grading. We'll, we'll get into grading a little later on because yeah. I I remember OG Tabby. Oh, gosh. when it comes to grading, we'll yes. we'll discuss that mistakes, in a little bit. Mistakes have been made. Well, listen, we've all made mistakes, but that's right? how you, you know? grow. You know, that is definitely how you grow, Blake. Um, but we are in the middle of kind of like an exciting release period and obviously basketball being your thing, we're yeah, sure. getting involved in like the Don Russ family at the moment. Yeah, we're going to um, see some choice. Soon. Yeah, Hobby, Elite, and Choice all coming out within the next, uh, within this week and the next like three weeks, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Okay. At this point. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Yeah. We'll talk releases coming up soon, cool new products to keep an eye out for. And of course, we're going to delve into our, our now long. Like if Tim is one of the new ringers, you and I at this point are old news. We're veterans, yeah. Like we are full on vet mode. Like, Realistically, I would have been an employee like six and you would have been nine or something. Oh, I like, may have even been seven. Like, like I've, in, terms yeah. of, in terms of full time, maybe six, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. eight, nine or ten. But yeah, it was, we're definitely around at the same time. Yeah, because right? like t- there was Dale in between us yeah. at the very least. But yeah, yeah, at this, like we're up to, I counted yesterday, we're oh, 20 plus. Yeah, right. In terms of casuals, yeah. full parts and, you know... Just sorts of break every now and then. Yeah, yeah. then just comes in to help out. Yeah. We are 20 plus at the moment. Yeah, there you uh, go. Which is a wild concept, yeah. you know? That is, wow. But of course, we did have Don Rush released this week. It's one of the nicest Don Rushes I think I've ever seen. There you go. Um, I've been through a few. Yeah. Remember, we, when we came in, it was that Pooh Brown Don Russ. With 2016, the, 17. And 17, 18. Yeah. Both uh, rough looking yes, Tatum yeah, 17, rookies. 18. Yeah, Tatum's. Yeah, um, wow. But... <laughs> it's come so far since then. Um, in terms of releases and pending, of course, this news is correct as of time of recording. Yep. Uh, Basketball-wise, we have... Um, We've got nearly the end of 2021-22 uh, yeah, rookies. Yeah, very, very yeah. close. I think Flawless is the last one. Um, but yeah. And then Eminence? Or is Eminence beforehand? E- Eminence, I, I'm not sure. Yet to know. There you go. But, uh, I, would, yeah. I would assume it would be Eminence would be after, but that's an assumption. Whatever comes out first. Yeah. Fifteenth uh, of March. We are recording this on the tenth of March. So all information correct at this time. We have Don Russ Elite coming out, which again just a part of that Don Russ family, which we're going to delve into in a little bit yeah. of time. Uh, Leafs Series Series Basketball, which will be a lot of fun. Don Rush Choice will be later that week on the 17th uh, with Leaf Signature Series. Yeah. 
And then we start getting into pretty much full on release wow. mode. Like Origins the week after that, 22nd. Court Kings, I think I just saw, yep. was the 29th. 29th. Flawless at this point is the 31st of March. And then, yeah, Contenders, Prism, Revolution. There, there uh, you go, Eminence, the 21st at this stage. 21st of April. the 4th. That is yeah. very close to when I leave on holiday. If that somehow oh. escapes me opening oh. it, I like, will be feral. That, yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> um, in terms of football, we're starting to get into the uh, nicer releases of last year's class. Yep. Uh, Prism is coming out the 15th, so yeah, that's going to so be a big week. Couple, yeah, big week indeed. Wow. Um, Obsidian, which is an all-time favourite, 24th. Uh, Contenders, 29th. Limited on the 5th of the 4th, which is also a lot of fun. And then you start to get, as you go through, Playbook on the 14th of April, one after that. Disappointed that I'm going to end up missing out on one football because yep. that's an incredible product. I love that product. You've, uh, you've broken a fair bit of that. Yes, don't remind me. Sorry, man. Um, <laughs> For what's worth, I, it shocks me how late Contenders is out in the piece. Yeah, so it is a later product yeah. in... Because with NFL, Contenders Optic is second last. That's, that's crazy to me. Yeah. I understand Prism being quite late, but like you think about Contenders NBA is like the fourth set of yeah. the year. Yeah, well, it's out... End of yeah, angle. exactly. And then contenders NFL, like what you're thinking, third last, fourth last product. It's yeah. just that just baffles me. But and then contenders optic is even later. Like. Yeah, which that makes sense. I respect yeah. that. But I guess, do you think it's because you know the, the brand contenders in uh in NFL just has such a big uh, history behind it? Maybe, the, maybe the Brady? It's a thing that's like uh, they want everybody in. Yeah, like any rookie who's blown up even slightly. They want them in. Yeah, for sure. In terms of our other sports, there are uh, baseball starting to get well into the 2023 realm of things. Uh, who's the Who's the big rookie there? He is. He plays for the Orioles. Sorry to stump you there. Yeah, I don't no, absolutely have. We haven't I'm, had a whole lot of 2023 arrive. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean it is still oh, early oh boy, in the year. Um, oh, you've you've completely messed me up here. Let me let I'm me just have a look. I'm shattered. Sorry, man. Uh, that's all right. 2023. MLB rookies. Rookie of the year odds. I'll pretend, Corbin I, Carroll for the Diamondbacks, Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. There's a whole bunch. There you go. Um, yeah, we should see most so, of the rookies in the first. And again, so they're actually rookies. They're not yeah, first not prospects. prospects. So yep. they'll be in Topps product, not Bowman. Yeah, okay. Non-sports, uh, obviously Pokemon coming up very soon. Oh, Scarlet new, Violet. Yeah, Is that the very one? exciting. Yeah. Uh, in terms of our... Other sports, yep. uh, National Treasures Racing, we should see a little bit of that. Uh, is coming out end of March. Prism WWE, very excited for that, is the 7th of April. Oh, Don Russ Soccer, 12th of April. And then from there, we have all of our kind of split-offs from that. Uh, Prism, Prism EPL, WWE. 24th of the 3rd, uh, which should also be a pretty fantastic product. <laughs> if, it's in, if it's like any of the other uh, Prism soccer products, we are going to be... All now, over. We're going to be the, the one-stop shop for it for singles. Yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Um, and then Select Premier League 20 is late April. I oh. won't be here for that. Prism UFC I won't be here for. Then Wait, Select? Yeah. Oh, they, usually, they usually do that in Chronicles, don't they? Uh, yes, so it yeah. looks like it's getting its own full there release this year. Okay. Um, and then as you kind of go further in, you have a bunch of products that will probably end up being delayed. Oh. <laughs> but, um, of course, we divert back to the basketball side of things. Yep. Um, and we have something that literally has blown me out of the water. That is 22-23 Donruss Hobby. Um, That's a good price. I actually was unaware of how much it was a box. Yeah, no. So, um, it's across the five or six cases we've done at this time, yep. um, we've had four one on ones Wow. Which means that there's not a Wait, lot of it. Okay, so Alan Iverson. Alan Iverson, Damien Lillard. There was another one I can't remember, and like Eric Gordon. Yep. So we've had four. Wow. We've seen across those six or so cases, yeah. two animations and six night moves. Okay. Um, so animation almost like a manga s thing. For yeah. Those it's two. horizontal, correct? Yeah. Or are they? So, or is just the one horizontal and there's like no, a couple of them? They're all Each one I've got is horizontal so far. Yep. So okay. do with that what you will. Yeah. Um, I tend not to look at uh, cell sheets or images or checklists or anything, so I'm very surprised yeah, when of I course. open it. Authentic very, reaction. I that's it. So I tend to avoid. Um, and the next day, auto is being fully back again. I know they took the year off uh, and then came back, and so yep. it's a bit like, oh, are we getting it? Are we not? Sort of thing. Yep. Um, I'm a big fan of the of the net marvels this year. Yes, they've 
you know, they've slipped a little bit, I feel, the past mm. couple of years. Just because there's so many of them, they look they, so similar. Yeah, yeah, they do, but also uh, the design hasn't been as good. Yeah. I feel like the first year was like the uh, 1920 was iconic. Yeah. And then it kind of slipped for the two years. And then now I'm really, I'm really into that design. The Big fan. diamonds parallel is so cool. Yeah. Like it's, it's, uh, Maybe you get one per box of a different insert. Yeah, right. But Diamonds in Unleashed, which is another great That's, insert. Yeah, how awesome is that? Um, and the other one is the Craftsman. Diamonds look amazing in those. Yep. And the Netmarvels, of course. Yeah, of course. So yeah, uh, Doris Hobby, uh, and usually gives us a sign of what's to come in Donrush Choice. And we are skipping oh, a week ahead. Underrated product. Um, Don't Rush Choice. And we'll do a quick refresh because I did update that date. March 17th is the release date at this point. Um, Don Rush Choice answers every criticism that people have of Don Rush Hobby. Yeah. There's only one that you can have, and that is too much base. Yeah, of course. That's the first thing I thought of, Blake. No base. How's that? No base in choice. And so next day, previously, next day auto odds have been bumped. Okay. Um... And it's, you know, you get all your numbered cards in one shot, you get it, those rookie mojo variations, yeah. and you... The dragon. Yeah, Don Rush dragon. Uh, they just look amazing. It's I, fantastic. I've heard criticism about the, uh, the Don Rush base uh, paper dragon not being quite as nice as the optic. I, I think you'd struggle to make anything as nice as that optic. That's a good point. Like it's, you know, yeah. it's like going for a really nice burger and then going back to Macca's sort of thing. Like <laughs> Macca's, you know, by itself isn't bad. You know, yeah. it does what it needs to do. It's good. But the comparison. But the comparison, because yeah. the optic is so nice. And uh, judging by how nice all the stuff looks in this one, optic will be really fun. But we are, of course, a lot. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's you know, another podcast. See you like in 2025. You know? <laughs> Um, but in between those two releases is Donruss Elite. And okay. haven't they stepped this product up? I haven't seen much of this year's in terms of any designs at all. I'm assuming but, it is similar to last year's. Well, then you've got me sold. Yeah. That one of one. Look, the, the, the title being just like, it's just called Elite, isn't it? The yeah. one of one's is called Elite. Look, yeah. that's lacking a little bit. See, I, I think it's perfect. It summarizes the product. It summarizes everything you need. It's I don't know. It looks it, a little it looks a little silly on a PSA slab to me. Oh, uh, elite, elite. But then again, people argue you shouldn't grade one on ones anyway. But that's another uh, story. That's so. another. That's we might talk about that later. We might, yeah. Um, <laughs> but for me, as good as the Nebula. Yes, I I like how it adds that. If it's in anything similar to last year's, yeah, how it adds that little bit of green tinge to yeah, it. Yeah, almost what, the teal going through it yeah. as well. Oh, I've, it just catches the light so well. Yeah, there's a um, there's a collector in uh in the in the in the states that's uh basically buying as many of them yeah. as he can, and I he updates the page every now and then. And I oh, just, do you uh do you follow it? I follow it. Yeah, yeah. He's, what's, uh, he, he's, what's the account? I can't remember the name. Oh. No, I don't. I follow it when it pops up on Facebook. Oh, fair enough. We'll give them a shout out yeah. in the description or something. Um, yeah. Go check it out because, again, it's an amazing set. Yeah, he's I, got... We hit two of them. Yeah. It was like Lamelo, Lamello. second year yeah. and Devin Booker. And I believe he now has both of them. There you go. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He's got um, the cat one and I just love it. I just. It's so nice. It's I'm, such a nice one. I want product. the cat one. So. Um, but yeah, so Don Russell Elite, uh, again, it'll be our... F- other than hoops, our first look at some veteran, more veteran autos yeah. during the year because there's been none in Don Russ Hobby. Oh right, I assume okay. there'll be none in Choice. So yeah, um, okay. and another chance at some on card autos with the pen pals, obviously. So good to get these early doors on card autos. Yeah, for sure. Um, Side note: How nice are the base cards? Oh, with, like that is so premium for such an early release. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they grade well too. Not, oh. that, not that you're necessarily grading the base cards, but, but in, once you get those low variations. Yeah, for sure. Um, I kind of liked how the gold for one guy looks different to a gold from another guy. Some people call that a QC issue, but I like it, you know? Yeah. Different shades of gold sort of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, grade it. Just grade it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's similar to Court Kings, I think. Mm. Court Kings grades well. I've got a black label BGS ten, and it happens to be Court Kings. So. Oh well, this is uh, this is what I was actually hoping for. Oh. A few people, like a few older people, um, who know that you were on the hunt for getting your own black label one of one. I was, yeah. It's um, it's been a dream of mine since maybe yeah 2016 when I started, and yeah. yeah, the joke has been I'll never get a black label. Let's be honest, like. 
some of the cards I grade. Like, they don't deserve it. But I just like grading, so I grade them. That's it. And um, along comes a Chandler Hutchison, a rookie Court Kings, the Air Apparent autograph. It was oh, yes. the Jade Parallel, so it's, like, yep. quite short print. That's uh, from the International Blasters. Correct, yeah. Wait, was that when they were called Australian Blasters? believe so, yeah. yeah. And it, it was actually the first year of the Blasters. Yes, 18, that was 19. Australian yeah. exclusive. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, along comes that card. I think it looks pretty clean, so off it goes to Beckett. Uh, mind you, that was just, I was waiting about 14 months for that one to come yep. back. <laughs> Classic. Uh, and then, lo and behold, black label BGS 10 with a 10 auto. And, it's uh, look, it's one of the prettiest cards I own. Yep. Look, it's not worth anything because Chen Larch is now retired. Yep. Um, <laughs> He's never, and he didn't really have much of a career. I was going to say, did he start? He started. He played sorry, some games. Sh- sorry, Chandler. He's a big fan. Yeah, shout out. Um, no, it's, it means a lot to me personally. Yeah, no. Like, goals the, the sen- goal ticked off. Yeah, exactly. The sentimental value. I'll never sell it. No, you, know? you, you absolutely could not. Exactly. Um, so you went from doing like odd jobs around Cherry to pretty much like you are the grading guy now. Yeah, exactly. So, like, uh, you don't do, like, do you take care of all of it now? Because I know while you were gone, Dale was doing a fair bit of it. Yeah, so I don't quite take care of all of it in that Dale has all of the, uh, like, the account details and stuff for Beckett, but I've got the account details for PSA. And we are, we're hopefully going to get that one live on the website real soon. Excellent. I've been saying that for a while, but uh, (laughs) it's going to come along. Yeah. I said by the end of last year, uh, end of the year last year, and I think I'm going to start saying that again this year with, yep. the, with the rate we're going. But uh, no, it's very exciting. We're going to have that available, hopefully by the by the new financial year. Just what I was worth, folks. If you listen to last week's episode, we all don't just shit on the the place we work for. It's you know, there's yeah. a little bit last week, and there's going to be a little bit this week. Yeah, but no, no, no. It's it's a great place to work. It's, it's a healthy sort of dynamic we have with the, with the occupation we work at. That's it. Uh, working with Dale. Oh. Now, I've travelled with Dale. Yep. He and I travel well together. That's you travel with Dale. Yeah. Uh, not, not as much, obviously. I only no. to Sydney. Uh, what is it like working with that man? Because he works a lot. And if uh, it was me working under him, yep. that'd be a lot of pressure. Yeah, no, th- there is a bit of pressure, but he's also understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I went away for a while, and coming back, he's uh, he's welcomed me with open arms. Yes, and lots of jobs. <laughs> yep, and that's good because if he keeps you busy, and like I'm very autonomous, so he can give me a job and I can just go ahead and do it. You know, with that, I'm quite lucky because I don't feel like he's like standing over behind me and mm. watching me, making sure I'm doing stuff. It helps that we work in different offices. Yes, but. When he does come in, I don't feel pressured that I'm like, oh no, I'm doing, the, I'm not doing enough work. I'm really scared. I'm shivering, you know. I'm shaking mm. because I do do the work. Yeah. So I think I am a good person to be working underneath somebody. Yeah. And I think yeah, Dale and I really complement each other, which is really important. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He's. I feel uh, like I, he's I, not very complimentary of some some other workers sometimes. But no, yeah, that's just that's just it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, he had some words about you while you weren't here. Yeah, of course. Just for not just for not being here. That's it, yeah. And, uh, gonna, and th- look, I'm sure there was some things that came up while I was away that if I was here, I would have been able to help. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I wasn't. Very hypocritical as he went away for a little bit as well. Yes, of know, course, that. yeah. What about how that? Did, how was the place while both of us were away for two weeks? Honestly, pretty ill chase. Yeah. Like, uh, he... Yeah, I missed him. Yeah. Because, like, he's often here, super late, just able to sit in here. Yeah, for and sure. And do stuff, like... Just chilling, yeah, offers. No, yeah, he... Um, he it was a big hole uh, in the joint, but he was working so much that he, it was like he was just not here. Yeah. Like, he was still doing all the off- offers yeah. and gorgeous tickets while I was yeah. away. Yeah. Still sending me abusive messages about oh. certain people that work for him sort of thing while he was away, you know. <laughs> Nothing changes. Like, no. I'm pretty sure I got one now. Oh, in fact, <laughs> I do. <laughs> but um, no, so grading. Um, I'm going to ask you, what do you look for in a card to grade? This is, this is for... Purist, where do you start? If you want to start with what you don't grade, you can start there. Yeah, okay. So when I pick up a card and I'm looking at it to grade, the first thing I look at is the corners. Yeah. It's just something that really pops out to me. Yeah. And because they are quite obvious when you can see their damage. Yeah. You look at them first. And then and then it's basically centering because you're not going to be able to clean the centering. Like that's 
once that's done, mm. you're, uh, you, you move on to the next card sort of thing. That yeah. one's easy. And then it's edges and then surface. Yeah. I reckon that's, how, that's the order I go in. Uh, because corners, they pop out to me. Centering, if a card's cooked, you jog on. Um, and then, yeah, edges and surface. Because you can clean the surface. So if you see yeah. any surface issues, you just... Uh, yeah, if it's a little fingerprint or... Yeah, exactly. Just... Obviously, if it's creased or dented, you are... Uh, you should move on pretty quick. Oh, really? You how, should. How, historically, has there been any cards that you've graded that you should potentially oh, have moved on from? Yeah, absolutely. But I was uh, I was naive back in 2016, Blake. <laughs> I was uh, I was young and dumb and um, yes. just wanting to grade anything. So wanting to grade anything, and so I mean, it's a nice card. And uh, let's tell the people, it's a uh, Yarnus. Yeah, so it's a Yarnus Blue Ice from I think it's it would have been 17, 17 18 Prism yeah. actually. So yeah, it was mid twenty seventeen. No, I've just gotten with my with my now longtime girlfriend Taylor. Uh, she's uh, she's starting to collect Yanis because she likes the name Yanis Antetokounmpo. Like it's just a cool name, you know. So when you first told me she was collecting that, I thought she was Greek. Okay. Uh, and so that's why she was doing because a lot of you know yeah. our Greek fans collect Yanis. Yeah, of course. Well, she's so she's cr- Croatian. Yep. Um, Tony Kukoc, maybe she could have collected yeah, him. Yeah, maybe we would have got a but, ten on a Tony Kukoc. Well, that's it, maybe. But no, we uh, we went with Yanis uh, and. I, I'm looking at this card. I'm thinking, you know, this is quite nice. Quite a nice card. Yeah. Um, that light blue back then was gorgeous. Exactly. And I, I have quite a nice Jarrah Allen of the same card. BGS 9.5, which is, uh, oh. yeah, it's quite nice. But yeah, the Arnis, Um Just, you know, lighting is also really important when you're checking mm-hmm. for condition of cards. And I just happened to be in uh, some pretty poor lighting that yeah, day when I was looking poor. at that card. Um it comes back from, from BGS to see it's uh, a BGS 4. <laughs> I, I had full intention to get a nice grade. Yeah. Because I, I checked the corners. Like I said, yeah. the centering was good. Uh, edges, yeah, they were fine. And I just didn't see the surface. The, uh, the back of the card, there's a real, real detailed crease at the very top of it. And in the right lighting, you can see it. But on the day when I was checking the condition of the card, there was not the right lighting. And so you look at that card, and it looks like the vein on Dale's head when he when Damo upsets him. It's there. <laughs> it's real prominent. Wow. And, you remember uh, it well. Yeah. I, sh- I wish I had a photo of it. Yeah, but, I know. Well, yeah, uh, from- I'm sure. Send one through. We'll use it as like the cover image for, oh. for the video. Sort okay, of thing. yeah, sweet. But yeah, no. We'll see um, it. I wrote that coming back, and it was hilarious. Yeah. Um, and then what was it? Like a couple of days later, you get your black label DR Fox yeah. downtown. So that was... Yeah. Um, yeah, it a, swings and roundabouts. Yeah, that's like. it. Um, <laughs> but uh, we had so many jokes back then, yeah. like early doors collecting. Yeah. So remember my hatred of Artis Gilmore. Yes. So, Your hatred of Mike Muscala. Yeah. So whenever <laughs> I got a card or opened something of a player that was bad, and so select photo 1718. If we held on to those back when they were oh. 90 US, easy to get off the Panini website. Oh, they were uh, 90 US. Yeah. That rings a bell, and that's, yeah. that's a scary thought. Yeah, the optics, like... Oh. But we, um... I got a Mike Mascala to 13. I still have that card. Yeah, I'm it's in sure. your mistakes box, correct? Yes. <laughs> Which is a smaller box these days. That's good, uh, yeah. But yeah, I, um... Had a vendetta against him, and then I... The most one I ever spent on a box was on one of those jerseys. And I got Artis Gilmore. Jerseys. The Gold Rush jerseys. Oh, right. Signed yeah. jerseys. And that's why I didn't like Artis Gilmore. At least he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. And so, <laughs> flash forward to the National 2022. Yeah. There's the guy at the Panini VIP and it's like, we got a lot of guests like Valentina Shevchenko, oh, you know. Nice. Um, it was one of the rookies from this class. Yeah. And Artis Gilmore is here. Oh. And I was like, F artist Gilmore, <laughs> like it's triggered something in my brain. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put bygones be bygones. I'm gonna go up and say hi to him. Yeah, right. Like, and so we made new friends there, and we went across with them. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna go say hi to us Gilmore. <laughs> and so I put my hand. I'm like, Mr. Gilmore, how are you? Big fan. Uh, do you mind if I get a photo? So tall. Yeah. Shook my hand. Damn near broke the thing. Yeah, right. Like he grabbed my hand so tightly. Yeah. And I'm, I'm there. And like, I'm pretty sure you can see in the photo me next to him. And I'm pretty sure I'm holding my hand being like. Try not to cry. And so the other guys went up and said hi to him. Yeah. And they're like, man, did Artis Gilmore grab your hand really hard? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, why? Artis? He, he must have known that yeah. I had such a vendetta against him. There you go. But uh, Dale has that photo somewhere. So oh, man. Uh, again, yeah, nothing right. we'll just chuck in, uh, chuck a link to or yeah. put it up sort of thing. Uh, side by side, the Giannis 
Be honest, honest and, and you're Artis Gilmore. Artis Gilmore. Um, Love that. No, there you go. I didn't know that story. Yeah, I didn't know. He, uh, he really upset me by yeah. being in Gold Rush. <laughs> and because I'm pretty sure the one that I didn't choose was like some crazy Sonics one signed by like oh. 10 different Sonics guys. Oh. Yeah, I know. Um, wow. Oh, well, hey. We've yeah, been. that's it. That's yeah. it. Um, but the grading. Uh, we'll come back to that. I, we, we got a bit sidetracked, you know? Yeah, we do, we do. It happens. It's easy to do. I'll never forget, uh, this is another side note, we, we opened 2017-18 in Case together. Oh, yes. Do you remember, I don't remember what you got, but I got Markel Fultz and I was over the moon. I think I got Dennis Smith Jr. And we both should have been pretty happy. That's but right. That by the end of it, by yeah. do you still have that card? I think so. Do you oh, still have yours? No, God, no. Yeah. You don't... So, you, okay, little side note again, Blake. You're not much of a collector nowadays in regards no, to basketball, I, are you? Oh, no, not in basketball. Yeah. I think uh, as I've gotten older, my ADHD has gotten worse. And so I just cycle through collections every couple of months. Yep. What are you into at the moment? Um, old Yu-Gi-Oh. Old Yu-Gi-Oh, no yeah. way. I yeah. love Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment too. Oh, really? Yeah, legit. I literally like, just bought a Spiral Serpent uh, Ultimate Rare from, from, <laughs> from Demo. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we not going through the same phase as this moment? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. No, I've been buying... What are you buying? Uh, just old cards that used to be in my deck. Yeah. Um, that are graded. So you used to play? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, cool. So See, I never played. Damo like, was like, oh, yeah, just created some Yu-Gi-Oh. And for some reason, he just had a whole bunch of cards that I used to have and play. Yeah. Like, and like Buster Blader, The Creator, End of Anubis. I'm like, these are all cards I used to have. I want them. Yeah. And so, like... I've just been buying anything old in a PSA slab pretty much. Like, oh, it's right. been so fun. Like, um, have you got them like here at the store? No, I don't, but I'll, I'll show you. I want to see them. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Dark Magician Girls. Yep. Like, you know, just anything I can find. Some Skull. Yeah, just Those anything boys, cool. Yeah. Like, Mad. Um, I think the big Yu Yo boom's coming, but, you know. Oh, like, really? Yeah, it's happening. Because everyone our age is like, it has money now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, I'm I'm against that argument at the moment with with just how like the interest rates are going up and stuff. I mean, I know this is not the podcast to talk about that sort no. of stuff, but I don't know. I just I feel like it's a volatile uh, market at the moment. I I think the, I'm, the, I'm nervous. A I believe bit. in nostalgia, but I believe in living. Oh, I right. believe in wanting to be comfortable and you know like. I'm sorry, but Dark Magician is going to put food on the table. Dark Magician girl might. <laughs> she might. She might. Put some food on the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, I'm not saying she's cooking. Wow, this is a bad, this, that's a bad point to make a few days removed from International Women's Day. But um, that was just, yeah, it was just I, I more just meant that she's very marketable. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I think, uh, I, I think the Pokemon, the, the market that's currently in Pokemon will move. More than it will completely shift from Pokemon. No, in, not completely just, shift, but people who are all who. Get that nostalgia factor that are a bit sick of Pokemon that have done their Pokemon buying yeah, and right. selling will then move to Yu-Gi-Oh! Because like you, a lot of people just remember Dark Magician and Summon Skull and yeah, Blue sure. Eyes and then, you know, people who used to play will be like, oh, I remember having a Buster Blader. I remember having, you know, a, I had the Toon World deck and so I remember Toon yeah, World. Toon, so Toon Mermaid and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout outs, uh, Red <laughs> Archery Girl. But yeah. Yeah, the um, Harpy Sisters. You know, there you go. Yeah, so now, now we're throwing back. Yeah, <laughs> back down to the mines. <laughs> yeah, there it I, is. I think there's going to be people going through their collections eventually and finding Yu-Gi-Oh cards and yeah. putting them in and be like, oh, I'm going to grade my old blue eyes. I'm going to yeah. grade my old, like, oh, I actually had a secret rare in my deck that I didn't know that was actually worth a lot. It's yeah. trash, but here's my PSA 6 Break of the Magical Warrior. But yeah, it's, um, it's going to be like a very interesting... Time because the market was something else uh, we were asked to touch on. Your feelings on the market, yeah. As somebody who's listing singles, I know my end from breaks. What's good? What's crazy? What's going on? Yep. How are people buying at the moment? Well, okay. So that's the thing in regards to to my job here at Cherry. Mm. Once I list cards, they're kind of away from me. I kind of just move on to the next set yeah. sort of thing. So unfortunately, I'm not too sure how things are going in terms of sales. Yeah. All I know is that your boy is putting them on the website, he's putting them on eBay, and then it's on to the next job. Yeah, sort of thing. you'd be looking at like 130 point in that and eBay sold listings for who, like yeah. Uh, yeah. Are people I, speculating on a lot of these guys? Because like, spat this, like, 
Okay, uh, sorry, I, I now yeah. see what you mean. Yeah, so obviously I need to look at completed sales yeah. um, for the sake of pricing the cards we are listing. So mm. I'm a bit underwhelmed at the moment with some of the prices. Yeah. Paolo, he's the guy. Yeah. But then it's it, it falls down real quick. I understand Chet's injured. injured. Yeah. Uh, so his prices are pretty weak. But, like, I thought Benedict Matherin was going to be that number two guy. And, look, he looks like he's going to be. Yeah. But the prices aren't there yet. I'm oh, surprised. Right. Yeah. I'm really surprised. There are young young guys like Jaden Hardy uh, for the Mavericks. He's yeah. quite popular at the moment. Um, but then it's, yeah. Do you Ke- think it's Keegan the Paces? Pardon? Do you think it's the Paces just not being great? <sighs> Look, the Paces are playing better than my, my second team, the Bulls. So, <laughs> But they're just like a, they're a smaller market team. Like there's people oh, okay. who would yeah. chase any Bulls rookie because it's the Bulls rookies. There's people chasing Lakers yeah. rookies because it's Lakers. I think Mavericks are going to start getting to that point where yeah. they have enough fans that people just start chasing their rookies. Celtics, people just chase their rookies because they're an iconic team. And, yep. like, you have Celtics from every year sort of thing. And, like, there's no bycatch on the paces. You know what I mean? Like, Reggie Miller doesn't sign enough. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton might start bringing that up a little bit if he keeps playing as well as he's been playing yeah. sort of thing. But, yeah, there's no, like... Oh, like, sweet, I bought the Lakers... And I got a Magic Johnson instead of yeah. the rookie. Oh, sweet. I bought the Celtics, got Bird. Even like True. Pistons, Isaiah Thomas, Rodman, Bulls, Rodman, all those guys. Yeah. Like, well, see, so now you're going into breaks. I'm referencing the singles themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. But so, more just like the market around those guys. Yeah. Like there's no, there's no interest in the paces, so people aren't chasing those rookies and people aren't. Well, I, I don't know. I disagree. I think you buy the player, not yeah. the team. So you buy Benedict Mather and... And maybe in a couple of years' time, he goes to a big market team. Yeah. Then that's when the the value is. You're playing. You're buying the player. I reckon. Well, that's what yeah. I would do anyway. You don't think that because there's not that much interest in the Pacers, there's less interest in him as a rookie? Ah, uh, look. Players like, like Ja Morant, when he went to the uh, the Grizzlies, yeah, uh, 2019. He, that team was pretty pretty average. You know, like yeah. they had. I had some pretty average players, but that, like, that's the pl- you, you go for the player. Yeah, it took him a while to kick off, though. It did, yeah. People were all over Zion because of the absolute hype train. Yeah, so him. I was going to say Zion was my example, but he's a generational talent. Oh, yeah, he, I think he New he Orleans, was but different. nothing. But um, yeah, I couldn't really use him. And yeah, yeah I guess that was my second like, thought. Like, Pistons people took on Cade Cunningham even when he wasn't the best because I think there's a strong Pistons fan base from old 90s days. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, yeah, it's interesting to me. I just wanted to get from your point of view because I think that, yeah, if it's like when the, a bad team gets the first pick and you're like, oh. Yeah, like, well, Timberwolves did it two years in a row. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, yeah, um, like if Jarrett Culver picked four? Five. Five? Yep. If he went to the Lakers, how big does that change his career and people buying him? Yeah, good point. You I feel like... like yeah, he, he's a tough one. Mm. Uh, I, wonder, on. I wonder what he's up to now. Yeah, he might be tuned in. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, you're going to PC like Max Christie because he's a Laker. Yeah. But... Dalen Terry because he's a bull. Yeah, exactly. But then it's like... You also... You look at players like Ayo Desunmu. Last yeah. year, he was a bull. His prices have dropped a fair bit. Kobe White, his prices are dead. Yeah. He's like only... I checked his stats recently. I don't know why. I just did. Yeah. Um, six, six points a game. Like, Well, that's when it becomes less of a prospect and more of a you know he's not good. <laughs> not yeah, that he's not good, yeah. but it becomes... Like, it's easy... I feel like people prospect easily on teams that they like. Yeah. Like, I bought Frank Mason because I like the Kings. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I collect Timberwolves players. Yeah. So, I'm... I guess I'm inadvertently... He's seeing and in terms um, prospecting on like Wendell Moore and yeah. those sort of guys. So do you think? So you think that the not as many Pacers fans is? Do you see how my theorem? Yeah. Of, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm starting to come I, around on it. Yeah. See, listen, it's a convincing thing. But yeah, no, I just think it's hard for, um, like, unless you are the number one. Yeah. You know, it becomes very hard. Yeah, like Lamelo has changed the franchise for. Yes. The Hornets. The Hornets. Like, who were, who were they before Lamelo? you know? Yeah, that's it. Gordon yeah. Hayward. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. But yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It'd be an interesting case study to see, to do like a what-if universe if Benedict <laughs> Mather went to the Bulls instead. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, and I like, feel like 
like, because I liked Indiana, and I still do. I still like yeah. Indiana. Like, Karis LeVere was there. I've always yeah. liked Miles Turner, those sort of guys. But, yeah, how far do you actually, like, go into collecting a player if you're not a big fan of the team? Yeah, like, that's it. Like, some people might not know, but Clippers are my least favorite team. Yes. And I actually kind of liked Bones Highland at the, um, at the Nuggets. Yep. He goes off to, off to the Clippers, and I just couldn't give two shits. Yeah, nah, see you later. All honesty. It's, yeah. um, and then, look... Maybe the Clippers will come out a better team than the Nuggets at some point. Yeah. And then that'll make Bones' rookie cards worth more. But although he's going to be in uh, Nuggets gear, it makes it hard, you know? It's, yeah. It's a whole different... It's a whole thing. Yeah. Like that, that could be a whole podcast in yeah, itself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we've got to swing it back around eventually. Like, yeah, that's it. You know? Um, but yeah, no, that's interesting. It's, it's funny to see how such little things affect the market. Like, well, that's it. We've got... We've got Macal Bridges over at uh, at Brooklyn at the moment. Yeah, uh, Grayson's seen an Instagram post where it's like his prices are up five hundred percent or something like that. But that's a dollar to five dollars. Well, that's it. Yeah, and Grayson's like, Tabby, you must sell them all right now." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, okay." So, <laughs> so <laughs> today, is- so I actually, so today is what the uh, the tenth of March. I do plan to have some Macal Bridges uh, yeah, listed on the Bridges website. Up. Yeah, he's currently uh, planning to verse. Um, Milwaukee in a couple of minutes. Actually. Oh, nice! Yeah, so look if he if he drops fifty, cherries on the money. Yeah, that's if, it. If he goes down with an ACL, that's yeah, the we'll cherry curse. Cut this, cut this Charlie. Yeah, if that's it, it. If it goes bad, cut. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was that was great. Um, very interesting things. Um, sure. Because we had Tim on last week, got Tabby on this week. Yeah, who knows who, who's on next? Yeah, week. I'm interested. Who are you going to get next week? I'm not sure. Um. Uh, I'm going to try to wear this shirt hey, every you, week so people just get a bit confused. Like, oh, who's, when oh, did yeah. you record this sort of thing? Maybe oh. I actually recorded it March 13th. And I like it. Yeah. You know Creative. what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. No, um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey, you got 20 more staff to look at. So Yeah, that's it. Oh, don't remind me. Up next, Grace's mum. <laughs> we'll get her on. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll Where get everybody. Can people find you? Uh, so I'm on Facebook as Dylan Tab. Uh, Don't say that. I meant to get your Instagram followers. Oh, my Instagram. Instagram, just Instagram. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get back into it, but it's hard. It's hard. Um, at Dylan Tabby Tab on Instagram. is yeah, we'll uh, That's my handle. I'll drop a link to that. Yeah, um, thank you. I, I'm i going to try and use it a bit more often. Yeah. I said that last year, though. So. You do. You go through this all the time. Yeah, I fluctuate. You ha- did you end up deleting that dodgy Instagram that I won't tell anyone the name no. of? No. Oh. No. It's because it's cute. Yeah, it's, it is. that's for true. Yeah. Just archive it. Yeah, I should. Oh, guys, thank you so much for tuning oh, in. Oh, that's it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, what else did you I want to talk about? I heard an hour. I was like... I what was else set- did you want to talk about? We got... I was just settling in. Yeah, we'll talk about something. Blakey. Yeah. You've got a little pile in the grading office. Yes. Or a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Does it ring a bell to you at all? No. No? I... As in, I graded something. You're, yeah, you're, you're planning to grade something. I know a Pokemon card I plan to send off. Oh. Well, there's also a Yu-Gi-Oh card with your name on it. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to why you want to grade that one. What is it? I don't remember. This is... Okay, this is not going well. I wish I remembered. Well, what? Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't remember. Wow. It would have been a while ago you would have submitted it because I've been away. I haven't had a chance to send it off. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's definitely got Blake Riley on it. Unless there's a doppelganger. No, I don't think so. No? Oh, it's a card that I pulled from a box I opened. And so I just wanted to send it off for the fun of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, uh, we got there. Yeah, it's called Force of the... It was the product is called Force of the Breaker. Yes. Nice. And so I... <laughs> of course you had to open that. Yeah, I was like... Yeah. The, the Force of the Breaker is what I call it when I get freaky. Oh. Um, yeah, no, I did, I did send that off. There, yeah, that's a... There's also a Pokemon card in there that I'm sending off for a friend, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's a go. secret rare something. Yeah, I, I remember thinking... That just seems a bit strange. Because yeah. then I, that's when I started to realise, okay, Blake's starting to get interested in Pokemon. So, yeah. uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, apologies. So. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm well in. There you go. I, I can't know, wait to see your collection. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Yeah. Oh, is there anything else you want to talk about? I was halfway through the goodbye, and then you've been like, no, I still want to keep talking. I want to <laughs> give me more content. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, no, I'm I'm planning to come back to some breaking. Uh, oh. While while you're away in Japan, I, you you're on. I'd love to. I'd love to be Hell able yeah. to help. I I got a nice little taste of it while you're away in America. I yes. really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I had a well, good time. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure we can figure something yeah. out. Maybe Tabby's lunch show. Near uh, Tabby's vegan lunch show. <laughs> vegan now. Yeah, so it's That's uh, hectic. it's been a couple months now, actually. Yeah, yeah. Wild. Yeah, it's uh, who would have thought? Yeah, you getting enough? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, no. Probably, probably not. You always tired, grumpy. Yeah, not not grumpy. Just tired. hair's turning I'm, green. Oh, that's why I got the hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, yeah, there's the haircut for those oh, players yes. at home. Oh. Looks good short, I said. I, I, I don't like the hairline. I can see a bit of a bald spot there. That's concerning. Oh, jeez. Did you knock your head off? I didn't know about that. Oh, boy. Anyway, there, there goes yeah, the hat. Put the Hat's back on. <laughs> Tabby's Tab, never going to look at himself in the mirror again. You're like, ah. Jeez. But yeah, no, sweet. All right. Um, I'm happy to wrap it down. Excellent. There, well, yeah. that's it. There uh, you go. Next week's episode will be dropping. I, I'm not sure when exactly they'll be dropping, but they'll be out weekly from now on. Yep. Um, follow us on TikTok. I need to do more of those. Um, What's your Instagram handle, Blake? Rainblaker. Anyone who's listening should be following me anyway. <laughs> if you're not, that's um, trouble. We're live heaps of times a week now. We've got a breakfast show. We've got a, the Heather show. Lunch, dinner. We're nearly at my 12 hours a day of content. There you go. It's going to be that very is close. 60 very close. Hours a week. Yeah, and trust me, it's been mostly me lately. But hey, I'm ready for ready for it to all yeah. kick into gear. So yeah, you can catch us live pretty much everywhere, anytime, sort of thing. So uh, jump on that. And if you have any grading questions, Dylan at Team Cherry. Yes, uh, send me an email. <laughs> um, no, please don't. I got I got too many emails. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the second episode of the Cherry Picks. Uh, we'll be back with you all the time. We're live all the time.